Hi Leos! Welcome to my channel, my own Moonshot Saro. I am Becky and I'm here to do your general love reading for the first half of January 2019. Who's ready for it? I know I am. First card out to Justice. Next to that, Knight of Cups. And then the Star card. Under Justice, Ten of Pentacles. Under the Knight of Cups, the Tower. All right. And then under the Star card, Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. All right. So, Leo, you could be thinking about a father figure. It could be a judge making a decision. You'd be thinking about an Aries. Um, you could be thinking about somebody, either you controlling something or an empire that you're wanting to build. Work, even. Okay, a business even, right? So, you could be dealing with an Aries, um, a Libra, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio specifically, and Aquarius. Alright, so, uh, for some of you, I'm seeing a divorce. Or something to deal with the legal situation in a family. Alright. Um, something happened where like a, f a structure was broken down. Uh, could have been like uh, something with the home. Like um, like some type of accident or something could be plumbing accident um, could have been a multiple things like you know something structural happened and there was a, the, a like a lawsuit um, but you're definitely gonna win that All right um, so it's just keeping hope, especially with that seven of cups here. Like, um, it's like you're confused. You're confused about this, this wish, or you're confused about Healing or an Aquarius. Um, <laughs> moving on. Alright, so clarifying Justice and the Ten of Pentacles is a Capricorn energy or the devil. Uh, there could be some type of addictions, uh, sex, drugs. Um, there could have been a contract is what I'm seeing, a, tr a contract. So again, getting paid, that's Saturn there, and then the scales of karma balancing out. Yep. Um, now if you're dealing with a Capricorn, uh, you guys could also be getting either divorced or married, uh, cause we have here four of wands. So there could have been a divorce or a marriage coming up. Uh, if you're the ones getting married, there's something about the how home that might have some plumbing issues. Um, and if you're getting divorced, you know that's that structure that fell down that you're just glad to be away from. It's like now you're taking control of your life, right? Um, and then. Clarifying the star and the seven of 
Cups is the world. So it's like a completion happens. It's like um, getting communication via World Wide Web. Uh, but some, for some of you, it's like you're confused about where home's going to be. Um, this could be a new job opportunity, again, um, because there's a contract. I see a contract. It's a legal contract, and it's it's got a lot of money with it. Um, so it could be a, a job contract, and it's like you're having to move to... Um, A new home and it happens quickly it happens abruptly you get this news your wish comes true and it's like now you're confused as to where it's like you have options it's not confusion, it's options. Where are you going to move? Where in the world do you want to move to? That's what I'm getting from that. Ooh, my soul is shaking for you guys. It's awesome. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, the star. Again, it's like a wish. It, it's This is destined. Like, seriously guys, my soul is shaking reading this to you guys. All right, so um, ca uh, the devil and um, the four of wands is being clarified by the nine of cups. <laughs> Again, it's it's a wish come true. Now, for some, the the resonate with the the um being stuck in a situation where you're like um getting a divorce uh this is because of drinking overindulging but still wish comes true right and then oh. four wands and the world is just like it ends a either a third party situation or it ends a struck you know it's like you're there's like teamwork and collaboration people that want to help you to succeed and <laughs> to go towards your dreams your wishes your desires and it's because you're like bold brave and courageous <laughs> <laughs> and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So fate and destined events here happening. It's divine timing. It's time. It's time, Leos. It's time. Ooh, man, my soul is shaking. I'm sure y'all can hear it in my voice. And then, so it all leads down to one, Leo. What is it? Let's see. The Knight of Cups. <laughs> a new emotional beginning. That that love offer even. That feeling of moving forward and just like going towards happiness. And you know, just... <laughs> Bottom of the deck. The star. Okay. Let me double check. Yep, this <laughs> time. So not only do you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have three stars out here. So three wishes fulfilled. Three of Pentacles. This is amazing, Leo's. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do your Romance Angels, and then we're going to close out. First one says, Romantic Feelings. 
your your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you express that love, you do. You feel it. Codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So again, it could be sex, drugs, alcohol, sabotaging yourself, being consumed by negative energy and just allowing it to happen. Okay, and then the last card says reconciliation. Someone from your past is re uh, returning to your life. So it could be this lifetime or previous lifetime. But this one's bringing in, it, it's like three stars. I mean, come on. This is the one. This is, this. and then the bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the greatest, the highest energy of all. <laughs> Leo's that's it <laughs> awesome start to a new year anyways sending lots of love and light and see you next time namaste